Welcome to part two of our value journey footnote. Last week we talked about the stages of relationships. This week I'm going to talk about how those stages should influence your product offering. Instead of just offering one main product or one main thing, you should have a tiered levels of offerings and tiered stages of offerings that coincide with that interest, inform, engage concept. For someone who's just interested in the brand, you should have a very low cost, if not free offering that gets them involved in what you're doing so that you can inform them. If you say, hey, here's a, here's a free bit of information that will make your life better, they're, in exchange for email address, you're starting the relationship so you can inform them. If you say, hey, here's a coupon so they can come in the store and get to see your product or buy your lowest cost product thing, that allows you to cultivate a relationship so you can inform them so that you can then eventually engage them and ask for a bigger commitment. Instead of asking for your big commitment from day one, offer some small offerings. And then also think, if I've built trust with someone over, over, over time, if I'm now, they're now an engaged customer, is there even a bigger offering that I can give them? Can I offer them a subscription? Can I offer them add-ons? Can I offer them a one-year commitment? And so I think a mistake businesses make is they only have one small offering. You need, you're missing out on people who need more information, who need to be informed, who need to get to know you longer. And you're also missing on people who would pay a lot more. Instead of having one offering, think about lower offerings that you could offer and bigger offerings that you can offer. And that will make you way more money and allow you to serve way more people.